Well, with that in mind, the UK's successful vaccine rollout faced another major challenge, this one north of Scotland. Health workers had to figure out how to get shots into the arms of people who live on Fair Isle, part of Scotland's remote Shetland Islands. Seen Ansfield Black travelled with a nurse on a visit to Fair Isle. Take a look at what he found. Where the Atlantic Ocean meets the North Sea, the weather is often dramatic, always changing. It rolls over Shetland, a group of British islands around 100 miles north of the Scottish mainland. In this remote, beautiful place, the landscape feels raw and powerful. These gusty hills are known for their short, often feisty ponies. These waters are shared with apex predators. And well into spring, an Arctic blast can blanket everything, grounding aircraft and delaying a potentially life-saving mission. On the Shetland Islands, the weather governs all, including efforts to roll out the coronavirus vaccine. Eventually, the skies clear and an operation is launched to protect one of the UK's most isolated communities. From the region's only hospital, the doses are dispatched to the airfield and escorted by nurse Margaret Cooper. Her job is to distribute the vaccine on an extraordinary place. Fair Isle, a tiny wedge of land surrounded by open ocean. Steep cliffs, sloping fields, more than a few sheep, and that's it. People live here, just 45 people. Soon we see them striding out, converging on the small building used as a medical office. That's where Margaret Cooper gets to work. And you come have a seat. A strong mix of jolly warmth all the better for this glorious day. And no nonsense efficiency. Sharp scratch. Sharp scratch. Sharp scratch. That's right. There we go. That's you. Ah, that's and that's the residents of Fair Isle are grateful. How are you feeling today? Uh, the sun is shining. <laughs> um, after a week of snow, we've had our second uh, vaccine. And so, yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. Unlike the rest of the UK, everyone here is getting vaccinated at the same time, regardless of age. Very happy to have had the second jab and very privileged because um, in spite of my grey hair, I'm not that old. <laughs> For all the obvious reasons, life here is isolating, but especially during the pandemic. For more than a year, Fair Isle has stayed largely closed off to the world. But even here, there is a fear of, of the virus. Well, it's a bigger fear in a certain way because if it did come here, it, it could be devastating. It could spread like wildfire. And Jimmy Stout has spent most of his 77 years on the island. It's been very quiet. It's been like what it was when I was a, a child growing up here. And we're used to tourism now and people coming and going, and, but it's been, it's been very, very quiet. Getting the doses here was challenging, but injecting them into arms only takes a few hours. A small, fragile, remote community with limited medical facilities now has some peace of mind. Hi, how are you? Tommy Hindman is one of the last. He moved here from upstate New York 15 years ago. There are people all over the world who desperately want this vaccine. But here we are on Fair Isle, and you've got it. I think it's impressive because I thought Fair Isle would be the last place ever to get the vaccine. Britain's vaccine program is a rare pandemic success story. But it's about more than just securing enough doses. It's an achievement built through the organizational power of a national health service, combined with the relationships, the experience of committed yes. local staff. Now, Jimmy, did you have any side effects after the last one? Oh. Margaret Cooper says it's the proudest chapter of her 50-year nursing career. It's a privilege to be able to be part of the vaccination program yeah. and feel that you are contributing. A crucial contribution to an unprecedented operation that's saving lives and restoring freedoms everywhere in the United Kingdom. Phil Black, CNN, on Fair Isle, Shetland.